Hey everybody, Quad Nines here. Got my first box of Shadows Over Innistrad, so you know, let's just get into it, I guess. Uh, I've seen some pretty decent boxes. I've seen some crappy boxes. Hopefully I'll get at least one really stupid foil. Uh, you know, Mythic Rare or something. Something cubable anyway. I just not want to cooperate. Let me shift it a little bit. Get down in there. Look, look, look. Get out of there. There we go. Okay. Uh, this video probably just gonna go to the rare and the flip, I guess. Let's take them all out of here. What do we got? Can't tell. Anyway, we'll just start over here. So, hope everybody's enjoying the set so far. I did get to draft it once. Uh, went green, white humans with a slight werewolf sub theme. And I had Uvenwald Mysteries and Tamiya's Journal for a nice little combo. So, yeah, that was fun. Uh, the rare is Soul Swallower. Daring Sleuth. And a clue token. The yeah, set is... Oh, I like it. I already like it so much better than um, Zendikar Block. is pretty much so. And the rare is, hey, that's a quick one. Nahiri, the Harbinger, really want a full of this, but this one will do fine for just now. Foul Messenger, and some stuff. Yeah, so Mythic, right out of the box. And a pretty good one, I think. It's like Sunday night when I'm recording this, and why is this not open? Uh, I think she's only like around 12 bucks, which is still pretty sweet. And, you know, it could, needs a deck has to find a deck before it can go up any, but, uh, I don't know. I like it. And the rare is Choked Estuary. One of the Shadowlands, which, I don't know, I like so far. Ooh, cool, the Heir of Falconrath. Vampire, actually, actually, did the only cards I pre-ordered, I caught some of the, the key, I think the key vampire pieces, if you're going to build a red-black, like, Vampire Madness deck, uh, like the Gorger, which is the rare that gives all the madness, and this one, a couple other ones. Just they were su super cheap, so I just pre-ordered like a playset all of them. Game Trail, another Shadowland, and hopefully get those in soon. But uh, ooh, we got a Cursed Witch and a Startled Awake. So got a Flip Mythic for a two rare pack. The first pack I opened up uh, the other day. Also had Starred Awake as it's as the two flips and two rares, da da da. But yeah, so that seems to be fun. And the rare is Port Town. So we've already got three of the five. I think we've got a full back there. Oh, we got a Handware Militia Captain. Sweet. Another rare. No full. I was wrong. That clue's a little shinier than the rest of them. But yeah, Handware Militia Captain. Another two rare pack. So should have a lot of rares in this box by the time we're done. Seems good. And Devil's Playground. Looks like we do have a full in this one. Hereland Logger. A Toppelgeist. Sweet card should Okay, as I was saying, Toppelgeist. Card should see some play. Uh there's a zombie token. Uh just I don't know. It's a good getting delirium like in modern should be pretty easy. And it's a pretty good effect getting a tap. Tap something at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep and just keep getting in there. Seems seems good. And the Devil's Playground that puts out the, uh, well, the Devil tokens. I actually got a couple of those at pre-release. So, need four, obviously, because it puts out four of them. And the rare is Engulf the Shores. Or Engulf the Shore. They haven't explained what the tentacles are. What could it be? Don't know. Convicted killer. I'm still interested to see if it's going to be Emrakul, if it's going to be Merit Lage, or Lard, how do you say that? But, uh, yeah. Might be the corruption from Garrick, like the little tentacles you see some places. Like, what, the Inspector card, the one white creature that has some, it's like looking at some weird stuff growing. Is it Odrazi? Is it, like I said, is it Corruption from the Veil that's in Garrick? I don't know. But, hey, Invocation of St. Draft. 
skin invasion. Ugh, gross. Yeah, Invocation of Saint Saint Traft is pretty cool. Guys, Saint Traft is one of my favorite cards. So, of course, it doesn't give any kind of power pump, but if you can find an evasive creature or maybe even more hexproof to put that on, it would be a beating. Very, uh, that's one of the few matches I lost last week. Uh, well, I, mull I should have mulliganed and didn't. And in the other game, they just slapped that on something that uh, had skulk. And all my creatures were bigger, so I just never could block, and it killed me really fast. Uh, second Harvest. Looks like another full back here. Kindly Stranger. Card's really good in draft. And Behind the Scenes. An uncommon full. Creatures you control have Skulk, and you can make them bigger after, after the Declare Blocker stage, I guess. Seems good. The art's kind of weird. Creepy. Card's amazing with tokens, as you can probably already know. But uh, yeah, Epiphany at the Drown Yard, uh, the closest thing to fact or fiction we're ever going to get again. And uh, if you get a lot of mana, it's really good. Granted, they get to pick the pile, but hey, Sage of Ancient Lore. So flips into Werewolf Ancient Hunger, it's a Star Star. So Star Stars traditionally can be very strong. And you, this one draws you a card. And ugh. Just ugh. This one got, it's got vigilance and trample when you flip it. So that just gets really gross. When you flip it, it's as big as the cards in every player's hand. So it can get gross in a hurry. Like I said, when you play it, you get to draw a card. So you got Forgotten Creation. Zombie Horror. Another Henry Logger. And ooh. Tokens. I haven't got to see all the tokens. I mean, I saw the art back when the spoiler was out, but I haven't actually looked at all of them, like in my hand. So I have to go back through there and look at those a little later. So we get through this box. We got Harness the Storm, nigh unplayable. I'm sure somebody's gonna be like, but it goes in this da 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 da, and it, it probably does, but it's still pretty bad. It's still pretty bad. Just saying. I actually was just playing Devil's Advocate Friday telling somebody, oh, no, it's not that bad, not that bad. And seeing what they'd say, and they just kind of gave up. <laughs> they didn't want to argue about it. It's like, well, I didn't want to open it. So, Hey, Mind Rack Demon. Another mythic. Not one I wanted to open, but uh, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be good. Haven't really seen a lot of work out of it yet. An Uninvited Geist. Not guest, although that's what people are seeing when they, when they read the card. They just look at it and see Uninvited Guest, so that's what they say. But it's Uninvited Geist. So only well, I got three mythics counting the flip one, but here he's the only one I really wanted. So, oh, ever after, bringing back two things and making them zombies. We got a pious evangel and what? Nice, nice shiny thing in the ice. Shiny kraken horror. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm not. Might put that straight in the cube, or uh, they put it straight on uh, some site to sell while it's really high, because it's still pretty high. I think the regular version of it's still like 12 or 13 bucks, so the full's got to be pretty good. And traverse the Uvenwald. Uvenwald. Hey, Delver got big. Aberrant researcher. Actually, did crack a full copy of that in the draft, but had to pass it. There's a good card for my deck, and I'm like, ah, how, how much can this full really be? It's uncommon, and nobody's gonna play this like anywhere near as much as Delver, obviously. So, doubt it's worth much. When it's all said and done, and the rare is always watching, which has went up considerably over the weekend. Uh, not really sure where it's at. Can't find it on my list currently but uh, it's all play so good, good stuff this card's really good I, I, I played one random uh, equipment in my deck just to uh, be able to flip this thing and exile a token or whatever but it's a good card ooh the Jace emblem do like that I'm gonna enjoy putting that out on people and to the slaughter card I need uh, it's a sacrifice 
target player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. If you have delirium, they do both. Pretty good. Uh, Landmark pacifists. More clues, more clues. So some pretty good rare so far. Uh, two for slaughter, I still can't find it. I can't see all the way down the list, but it can't be too much, but it's gonna be a good uh, edict effect for sure. Focus, and the rare. Death Cap Colfetter, another one I was wanting to get because it's just it's a good thing. It's a mana dork that uh, can't have death touch late. Herma the Natter Knowles, I had two of this guy, and it is good. Had somebody, uh, that it was the removal spell was attack based, so they had to wait for me to attack. And of course, I flipped it and then attacked, uh, like the next turn or something. And I got to draw two cards, so it was pretty good. Good times, good times. Oh, Giraffe's Masterpiece. It was pointed out that this is basically uh, Gristlebrand with some stuff added, but yeah. I don't know if that's true, but it looks like it's a 7-7 flying, but yeah. Uh, and Solitary Hunter is the flip. Another clue token. But yeah, Giraffe's Masterpiece. I like that card. I think it, somebody's going to be able to do something uh, to break it, hopefully. And it's a... Five mana, seven seven flyer. So there's ways you can return to the battlefield from the graveyard. Some good. Oh, altered ego. Card is so good. Can't be countered, and it's just the best thing on the field plus something usually. Uh, what else we got? Oh, we got a elusive tormentor for another rare. Tons of rares. Tons of rares. Gotta like that. That was the uh, buy box promo. The buy box art is way better, especially in full. And Audric Lunark Marshall. This is the other match that I lost was to this guy. We basically were both playing green white, but he had a couple bombs, including this, that were just better. And if you hit them, that was all I could. I couldn't, you know, do much about it. Ever researcher and a full Storm Rider Spirit. It's a good looking card. Three three flash flyer for five. Eh, not a great card, but looks good. That's for sure. So we did get our good uh, full rare and thing in the ice. Got a couple good mythics so far. Still going like about half the box left. Not quite. Uh, choked Estuary, another one of those. That's two of those. Dust Watch Recruiter, this is going in cube. Card is so good. Just all the value. Oh! Full Mythic. Behold the Beyond. Don't know if it's the full Mythic you want to open, but any full Mythic I'm, I'm cool with. So, yeah. Seven mana though. Discard your hand, then you get to search for three cards and put them in your hand. So if you're already you know, empty-handed, it's just seven mana, three demonic pitters. So and sometimes you want to discard your hand. I don't know why, but sometimes I guess you would. And the rare is confirmed suspicions. Town gossip monger for the flip. Hey, cool wolf token. Use that with uh, Arlen. Like I said, I did pick up a few of them through uh, different avenues, and I've got a full Arlen coming, a full Avison, uh, the the Abbey. I've got a full one of those coming. I got a regular Jace already, so that was good. Some stuff I don't pick up. Corrupted Graphstone. Blah. I'm not going to talk about it. It's just bad, bad, bad. On the last stack over here. And, ooh, Anguish and Making. I did get to open this at the uh, draft. I, I splashed it. I took it out sometimes, but it, you know, it's just really good removal for, you know, if you have get rid of enchantment or just anything. It was pretty good. I was always happy when I drew it, if I could cast it, obviously. Kessage Forge Master and a full Tharbog Revenant. Skulk Lifelinker. Yeah, Anguished and Making is going to see a lot of standard play because it's just really good. Instant speed, exile, and you pay three life, yeah, but, you know, black and white usually. You can skirt around that. Rare. Welcome to the fold. Another Kessid Forge Master. I've also got a Korean box coming in. 
Not sure what I'm going to do with that. I might just open like a pack at a time of that one uh, just so I can possibly know what the cards are and not be able to go through a little bit more. Uh, inexorable Blub. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. Whenever it attacks, if you have Delirium, you put another ooze out. Three threes. That's awesome. Kindly Stranger. And a Dual Shot. Deals one damage to each of, of the two target creatures. So one mana, double ping. Seems good. Nice art, too. So. That seems good. I mean, like, for, for Limited, it seems decent for Limited. There's a lot of one butts, a lot of tokens. So instant speed, one mana. Getting rid of anything's pretty decent. This card's really good, by the way. Declaration in stone. Good removal. Also going to see play in standard. Autumnal gloom. The enchantment that turns into a tree folk. Come on. Arlen one time. Arlen one time. Or Addison or Sigarda or... You see what else? Soren. Soren would be good. Chase would be obviously good. Tamio's Journal. I said I already have one, but card's pretty pretty good. Way better than I thought it'd be. Hinterland Logger. And zombie. Yeah, Tamio's Journal. Um, yeah, the control deck, it's really strong. Uh, like I said, you can get that combo with the uncommon green enchantment that every time a non token creature dies, you get a clue token, and every time you sack a clue token, you get a soldier. So... You pay no mana, sack three with this thing, you get three soldiers and go to drop a card at instant speed. So really strong. Hard to come back from. Slayer's Plate. Ugh. Yeah, it's pretty good in, in limited in a in a humans deck, but not what I want to open here, obviously. A curse witch again. More zombie tokens. All the zombie tokens, which are okay. I've got I can always put those into the DC. The DC always needs more zombies. Hey, just like talked about, Sigarda. Heron's Grace. Card's not great. It's not near as good as old Sigarda, but, you know, this right here is a very good ability. You just make an army really fast. Just anything in your graveyard. So, the missionaries. Ooh, the human cleric for the Westfall Abbey. Nice. I think there's some other cards that may make that black-white cleric, but I know that's what the Westfall Abbey uh, spits out. So a lot of mythics in this box, just saying. And Angel of Deliverance, which was the FNM promo uh, this past, when I, when I got for playing, and I think I had a roast too, but anyway. Uh, Solitary Hunter, it's a flip. Down to last four packs. It's maybe one more value card. Just one, maybe a, like a Westville Abbey or a, a Tireless Tracker. Which, even though it's a promo card, is seeing enough play to, to still be worth something. And Drog Skull Cavalry. Seven mana. Hmm. Gain two life. Put a spirit. Oh, this pumps out spirits. Another Solitary Hunter. And a spirit token. Asylum Visitor card. I, I like it. Um, like I, said, I think it goes in that aggressive vampire deck. Uh, and you can obviously, it's just draw when you need it. Then we cast it for madness. It gets a 3 1. So it's got it's got things going for it. Ooh, another thing in the ice. Sweet. I do like extra rares. Extra rares are good. And Eerie Interlude. Harvest Hand, and they look a devil token. Okay, last pack, and I'll try and do a recap. And Tireless Tracker, sweet. Tim the Gloom, and a full Devil Thorn Wolf, or Fox, not Wolf, Fox. All right, be right back. Okay, so quick uh, recap. Got a few foils here. Uh, Death, Death, Devil Thorn 
Fox, or Dual Shot, Farbog Revenant, Storm Rider Spirit, Topple Guys, is pretty good. Uh, behind the scenes and the two rare or mythic uh, Behold the Beyond and Thing in the Ice, which I think is the probably most expensive part in the, in the box. Um, then we got some pretty good rares Thing in the Ice, Declaration of the Stone, Tireless Tracker, Anguish in Making, Always Watching, To the Slaughter, Death Cap Cultivator, and Epiphany at the Drown Yard. And then a bunch of just more bulky rares, but still okay. Uh, let me see. You got Draw Smash Piece, Mind Rack Demon, Startle Wake, Some of the Shadowlands, Nahiri, and Sagarda. So, anyway, box is pretty good. I uh, hope you all enjoyed it, and hopefully, I have some more packs coming up this week. Thanks for watching.